Hey everyone, Jacob from concealedcarry.com and today we're gonna to talk about something boring, batteries. I know batteries aren't very exciting, but it's actually pretty cool. What I have here is a lineup of a lot of uh, tactical flashlights you're probably familiar with. We have some here from Surefire, Streamlight, Fenix, and a couple other brands you might be less familiar with. Now, when it comes to flashlight, obviously, you know, there's any number of features that you might really care about, tail caps and brightness levels, and maybe you want strobe or whatever else. But something we tend to not spend a lot of time talking about is the batteries. Even in something as simple as these weapon-mounted lights, this is an Olight Valkyrie something, and this is the TLR1 from Streamlight, batteries are something that we just kind of take for granted. We just assume, well, we're going to put batteries in it, and they're going to run, and that is what it is, right? Or is it? Uh, I've been playing around with this lately, and this is something I'm really kind of into right now. And it sounds kind of geeky and nerdy, but what you have here are a handful of different brands of CR123A batteries. They go by lots of names. CR123A, I think, is the most official name, but you know some people just call them 123 batteries or 123A batteries. Uh, but it's you know it's a pretty simple battery. It looks something like this. Uh, these Surefire ones seem to be the ones I, I have most often. Um, they run in a lot of these flashlights. They are high voltage output. So a lot of lights require these because your traditional like AA and AAA batteries, they only put out 1.5 volts. Whereas the one, two, three batteries, these things put out three volts. And so for a, a very bright tactical flashlight where you're trying to really maximize how much brightness you get out of the thing, the, the lumens and the candela rating, you need as much voltage as you can get, right? So most of these flashlights are designed to work off of a three volt battery, these uh, CR123A batteries. Now, some of them work off of just one, like all these smaller guys here just take one CR123A battery. Uh, some of them take two, like all these tall guys here are designed to take either two 123A batteries, uh, including these weapon lights, these both run on two of them, or alternatively an 18650. The 18650 is, uh, is, is similar in concept to two CR123As, right? You get the idea. It's a little bit uh, wider in diameter, so it gets a little bit better capacity. But, uh, you know, these have been around for a long time. I think people are familiar with them. But what you might not be familiar with that I think is really cool is the 16340, which is what this is here. The 16340 is comparable to the CR123A battery, as you can see, but it has some distinct differences. Uh, first and foremost, it is rechargeable. Rechargeable matters. I love rechargeable because these things are not cheap. I just recently did some price comparison and we'll try and put it up here on the screen so you can see uh, what, I, what I discovered. But even when you buy these things in bulk, you go to Amazon or you go to the Surefire website, and, and I'm looking at different brands. I'm talking Energizer, Surefire, Amazon Basics, et cetera. You're still paying more than a buck a battery, uh, somewhere between probably on the low end, maybe a buck 12, buck 15 a battery, and on the high end, as much as $4 a battery. If you're just running over to Walmart and getting a pack of two, you can be paying quite a bit per battery. So they are not cheap, and you burn through them. You know, if, if this is your EDC light, this is what you have on you all the time, this is, this is my EDC light, then you're gonna burn through batteries at a certain frequency, and that's gonna be expensive and not so fun. Uh, it's just the kind of thing you just gotta you know, buy in bulk and deal with, right? But if you can get a rechargeable one, the 16340, which is effectively the rechargeable version of the CR123A battery, then you don't have that problem. Well, at least you don't have as much of a problem. You're going to pay more up front for a battery like this, but because you can recharge it and reuse it, in the end it costs you less. And in fact, if we measure cost based on how much I pay per 1,000 milliwatt hours, then this is the cheapest by far. In fact, it's 98% cheaper. It's only going to cost me about 2 to 3 cents per uh, 1,000 uh, you know, milliamp hours, right? So that's that's pretty cool. That's 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 a big deal. So about 98% less expensive uh, as as you use it over time. These generally will work for 500, 800 cycles of charge before they start to deteriorate and, and hold less, uh, you know, have uh, lower their capacity, and they're pretty sweet. These ones from Ready Up Gear are especially awesome because not only are they rechargeable like any 16340 battery would be, but you don't need some fancy recharger. You don't have to you know, drop this in some fancy thing that plugs into the wall. Instead, they have a USB port right on the battery. This is a standard micro USB port, which a lot of common small uh, consumer electronics run on that kind of cable. So you probably have like a dozen of these sitting around your house if you're like me. And you just plug it into any USB port and you can charge this on the fly. You can charge it from traditional like portable solar panels or power banks as well. It's just simple. It's just, you know, any USB power source with a standard micro USB cable. They have charging indicator lights. 
So it has a red light uh, that shows when it's charging and a blue light to show when it's complete and when it's all done charging. And they're pretty slick that way. So the first nice thing about the 16340 battery, of course, is that it's going to cost less in the, run, in the long run because you can recharge it. But there's another feature that I think is less commonly discussed. Remember that with these lights, we're trying to maximize our brightness, right? And to maximize brightness is, is, is important. That's kind of the point of having these lights versus walking around with some little you know, AA battery uh, light. But what you may not realize is that you also increase your brightness with the 16340. Again, these CR123A batteries, they're three volts, but the 16340 is 3.7 volts. So it's putting out more energy faster and allowing you to get a higher brightness level out of your lights. Now, some of these manufacturers, they actually, right on the website, will publish the, the, the lumen level, the, the number of lumens you're gonna get with the standard battery versus a 16340. And when they do that, obviously it's a higher number. Um, and, and we would expect that you're gonna get about 17 to 25% more lumens, brightness, when you add an extra 0.7 volts to a three volt battery, right? So it's just kind of the nature of the beast. And it's, it's not a complicated thing. For example, this is a Streamlight Polytac. So it would normally run on two CR123As. So for example, these two Streamlight batteries, we could chuck them in here, positive side up. And here's our Streamlight Polytac. Okay. I'm not gonna shout it right at the camera. Okay, I just did. I won't do it again. But that's with the, with the uh, CR123As. And I don't know how well you guys will get the effect on camera, but I tell you, you go outside in the dark at night and you play with this and it gets pretty apparent pretty fast. Okay, now here's with the two 16340s. It's brighter. It's, it's apparent to me sitting over here. You're getting much more lumens. Uh, it's just the nature of the beast. Here's another, uh, this is a Fenix light. We've tested on this Fenix light. Here's one from Surefire. Same thing, you're just getting more brightness uh, same thing with your weapon mounted lights. You know, for example, this PL2 Valkyrie from Olight, if you put in the three volt batteries from Surefire here, okay, then yeah, you get a certain amount of brightness, pretty good. But these, this, these are known for being one of the, the brighter weapon mounted lights you can get, and that's pretty dang bright. But we pop in the 16340s, and now we're getting two 3.7 volt batteries instead of three volt batteries. Okay, and it's, it's notably brighter. Again, probably, you know, I, I'm, I, we're not using some sort of measurement tool here, but probably in the 15 to 25% brighter range. So if you wanna maximize the brightness that you get out of your light, the 16340 also does that for you. In addition to costing you less and having to replace batteries less often, you also get more lumens out of your light. Now, a, a quick warning, just a disclaimer I should make, all these lights that we have here, Surefire, Fenix, Stream Lights, this is the Spark from Ready Up Gear, this is a light from Tacware. Uh, the, these are all such that, yeah, they'll, they'll adequately take the 16340 and they'll deal, the increase in voltage will just put out a, a brighter light. But we have found some of the less, ex, less, uh, less well-known brands, some of the lower cost, cheaper uh, flashlights out there being sold, you do need to check the instructions and they may specifically say that you shouldn't put in anything with greater than three volts. So the 16340 could potentially do damage to your flashlight if it's not rated to deal with the higher voltage. So just a warning uh, before you stick these in anything out there. But if you're dealing with one of these name brands, you should be fine and they probably advertise it as such on their website. Now, if you're uh, dealing with one of these uh, larger lights that would normally take two of the 123A batteries, you might consider the 18650. These 18650s are also USB rechargeable. They have the port right on them, and they're pretty slick because they actually have higher capacity than two of these combined in terms of the total energy stored. In fact, it's close to double the capacity in this versus these two combined. So the 18650 is a little bit wider. So not every flashlight uh, that is compatible that would normally take two 123A batteries will take the 18650, but most of them will. And you'll know if you just go to set it in, if it, if it fits, you're good to go. If it's too narrow, then yeah, that flashlight's not rated to, to accept the 18650. So guys, What's the takeaway here? The takeaway is you can increase the brightness, the output from your flashlight, and save money by using 16340s in place of the standard 123A batteries. And these ones from Ready Up Gear are awesome. Not only do they have the USB port and the indicator lights, which I really like, they come in a really nice case that will fit up to four batteries of that size. You kind of get a sense for that, so I can put in you know, two more. 
simple enough thing. Uh, and they also uh, come in a, in a pack of two. You, you buy two at a time, which is really nice. So you can always have one fully charged, ready to go, and you have one in the light. And that way you never are out of the batteries. So there you go, guys. Check it out and pick up your ready up gear uh, 16340 and 18650 batteries today at readyupgear.com.